Not quite sure what this news article was trying to say originally, but it did have the Madness House of Fun backing track. But I'll let you go and watch it, and at the end I've uh, got some stuff I found interesting and hope you find interesting too. I think it's a general public awareness of the place of microcomputers in the future and a need to get to grips with these sort of machines. So when are shopkeepers going to be able to start taking delivery of dragons again? Well, shopkeepers are receiving deliveries at the moment. Uh, the only thing that I'm not accepting now are orders guaranteed to, for delivery prior to Christmas because the, those orders are already in. What do you see as the advantages your computers have over their rivals? Uh, we see it as an easy machine with plenty of space available in the form of its 32K RAM, a number of useful facilities like the graphics and the sound, and a very simple basic, which is a worldwide standard, which means that they can access software from other sources quite easily. What do you think we need to do to keep ahead in this field? Uh, keep an opinion of what the customer really wishes to buy, and obviously there is a need to keep redesigning and bringing new uh, discoveries or new modifications into the machine as frequently as possible. Over Christmas itself, Dragon's on the move to a new, bigger, out-of-town site, despite local protest here in Swansea. Then production will be more than treble to cope with demand. The existing workforce of 60 will be doubled. One of the questions that came out about this video was, which factory was it? I'm thinking it's actually both factories. On the outside, I think they're just showing Port Talbot. But on the inside, they're showing the Swansea and the Port Talbot factories. If we take a look at this uh, still here from the video, it clearly shows what I think is the Port Talbot factory. If we look at the outside of the building and the way the Dragon Data is written, and then when we compare it to this known picture, from 1983 of Paul Talbot, we can actually see it is the same building. And also, in the, one of the other shots from the video, if we take a look on the left hand side, you can also see there's a dragon logo and the apex of the building. And this matches up quite nicely to this other shot of the outside the building. Again, this appears to be Paul Talbot. But when we go inside, it definitely looks like it's two different factories. If you look at this vid first video here on the top left hand corner of this square we can see what appears to be quite an older style door definitely pre-80s because Port Talbot was built in the 80s and if you compare this to a typical door on in Port Talbot this is a picture from 2017 originally this door judging from the other doors in the building would have been dark brown the typical 80s style this is a completely different style and more in fitting with the 80s when the previous one, the blue door, definitely looks older which would match up the Swansea being the old Metai factory. It's also, in the bottom left hand corner here, we've got wires coming down, dangling down, coming down to each test station. And this is confirmed by this picture here which is from Paul Talbot 1983 from Dragon User. Again this shows the cable coming down into the test rig area. And these workstations appear to be away from the wall, unlike the Swansea factory, which appears to be up against the wall. Quite an interesting thing is, I've never noticed it before, never seen it before, is what appears to be a modified Dragon 32, which is doing testing of the actual retail. So they've actually got a Dragon 32 as a test rig with the button set up on it which is doing some form of automated testing and what looks like possibly a hacked Dragon 32 there with a cutout where they're probably testing the boards. Here we've actually got a close-up of the screenshot from the test rig and this quite interestingly matches up with some code from Duncan Smead. All the text on this screen about right joystick, relay, keyboard test etc matches up with the code. I will put a link in the description to this code so you can take a look for yourself. I just find it quite interesting that 
you know, inside the factory and actually using Dragon 32s for testing the Dragon 32s. Hope, hope you find it useful, hope you find it entertaining. I was quite interested to see this. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.